We often get asked if we're crazy and we enjoy being called crazy because we do everything ourselves. Anything that has to do with the conference, we organize. The brand new conference started with, uh, with the blog, brand new, which we started back in 2006. We thought, let's do the conference based on the topic of the blog. And we thought, yeah, we'll do it a one-day conference for four to 500 people in New York. Next thing you know, we sold out within a couple of months on our first conference. People enjoyed it. And, uh, we thought, all right, we found something to do. Based on the feedback and the success of that first year, we figured we would do it every year. So right from the very beginning, we knew that the conference materials needed to stand out from the rest of the conferences. We were branding a conference for branding designers, so we took that seriously from day one. We'll still print old-fashioned programs because I think it captures a moment in time for us, for the speakers, for the attendees, and it celebrates that we're all there to kind of like share this experience. A large part of our audience came into the profession being exposed to print, so it's something that we still want to celebrate. There's something about handling a nice object that enhances your engagement with the content. We call it a program, but it's much more than that. It's not just giving you the schedule and a bio, it's giving you a kind of a, more of an in-depth portfolio of all of the speakers and a case study for all of the sponsors. It's a way to highlight their work and you know they go through the trouble of making really nice photos and there's no better paper than uh, McCoy to make those colors pop. Everything looks saturated, everything looks... Uh, the blacks... There's no, yeah, the there's black. no better black than a rich black on McCoy. It's just yeah. like the best thing in the world. It was in 13 in New York that kind of pushed us to another realm where we started to hand make the materials. And that year we embroidered every single cover for the program with a logo. So there were six different versions of the logo and we embroidered all of them. All of a sudden you had 800 different covers. One thing that has really helped us achieve some of the crazier things that we've done is working with classic color in Broadview, Illinois, their printer. And the, we work with Jeff Fernandez there and we come up with these crazy ideas and he's instead of saying, coming up with reasons why not to do it or excuses or things that sh that are not feasible, he's just like, fine, all right, let's go do that. The driving concept for the conference in New York was the concrete jungle and we decided to give that a very literal approach in the sense that everything was made of concrete. Because concrete overall is ugly and pedestrian but we wanted to prove that it can be beautiful as well. And so we started to create all of these slabs of concrete using silicone molds. But the tricky part was, okay, I have a quarter inch thick slab of concrete, but how am I gonna do that? Attach that to a program? Because obviously we cannot, you know, silk screen every single page of the program. So it was a matter of finding the right paper, which once again proved to be sappy. And the trickiest part wasn't so much the weight of the concrete or the texture of it, it was a paper that would handle the glue that was necessary. We tested, I think, something like 23 different kinds of glue, everything from book binding to vinyl flooring glue. Because of the spine and the back cover, we wanted them to be black. At some point, we considered using just black coated paper out of the box, which it comes in. Uh, but once you put the glue on that, it just became a shriveled, horrible mess. So. Uh, Jeff just said, like, use, uh, use Sappy as my coin. <laughs> if that's what we tested, that's what we know looks good, and it works well. So we just, you know, printed good old-fashioned black on McCoy, and that did the trick. So one of the things that we figured we should kind of protect ourselves from was what happens if that slab of concrete breaks. So that gave us a chance to put a little message that said, it broke. As it turns out, the combination of paper, glue, and concrete was a lot sturdier than we anticipated. We had to hit it with a hammer multiple times in order for the glue to come off, for the concrete to break, uh, and then it would reveal the message. We're now in our 10th year and we figured what better place or maybe what worse place to do it in than Las Vegas. So this year we're doing what we've always done, which is try to honor the city that we're in. One of the things about Vegas is just the onslaught of visuals and things flickering on and off. So that's what we're trying to do. We've sort of done it on the website already. Yeah, we're um, hinting at where the branding is going yeah, to so, go, but how you translate that movement onto print will be an interesting. Yeah. So I think we're, 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 gonna, we're doing an unexpected treatment, an unexpected technique 
that you know has its place in certain. It has um, it. It has it, its place in your memory in what you do with that material and. It isn't quite for a design conference, you didn't expect it in a high-end design conference. So hopefully we'll be able to transform that thing into something interesting and memorable. <laughs>